Hey, brother here. Brother teacher here once again. I saw an interesting uh, video that seemed like it was uploaded to YouTube back in March of this year, 2020. And uh, it was about uh, an interview with Mike Tyson and if he had fought Bruce Lee. Uh, the gentleman said that he believed the interviewer that is said that Mike Tyson in his book would have beat Bruce Lee. Now, uh, Tyson said that he would have beat Bruce Lee in this particular interview as well. And again, he used what Michael Jai White expressed in his earlier uh, video on Vlad, uh, radio or TV, if you will, on, on YouTube, uh, that it was a weight factor that would decide that and the fact that he was heavier than Bruce Lee and Tyson's contention was the same about the weight class uh, in an all in all fight uh, the, the interviewer asked Mike Tyson he said even with Bruce Lee's kicking and elbows and other types of martial arts techniques Mike Tyson said in the all out fight he would still smash Bruce Lee now uh, to Mike Tyson's credit I will say this he has in time past given Bruce Lee a lot of credit as a martial artist I will say that and I have absolutely the greatest respect for Mike Tyson I love Mike Tyson he is since Muhammad Ali my favorite boxer so uh, heavyweight now with that said this is not to uh, diminish Mike Tyson's character and so forth he made a statement based on his belief I'm following up based on my belief. Now, uh, I don't want to say uh, Bruce Lee would be an underdog, but to a lot of people who have weight, stature, physically, larger, more powerful, it's always been in America, it seems to me, that people want to lean on bigger is better. Bigger is more mightier than anything that's smaller. As it relates to fighting, we are missing the boat, so to speak. Here's what I mean, and I'm not going to stay here very long. I just want to cut straight to the chase here. I believe that a heavyweight can crush a middleweight or a lightweight fighter. I believe that, just in general. If you stood still. I believe that a lightweight, middleweight fighter would crush a heavyweight fighter if the heavyweight fighter stood still. Now on either side, if the other person stood still and they were being struck by the opposite individual, then wouldn't it stand to reason that both would sustain damage? Now where do we get this ideal or this ideology if you will that just because someone is bigger has 150 pounds maybe 200 pounds more than the other guy where do we get the idea that that person is going to dominate the fight he would only dominate the fight if the other guy's skill set was not adequate so if the heavyweight guy has a skill set that is good and the lightweight guy or the lighter weight individual has a skill set as well the fight could go to either one just because you big doesn't mean that you're going to defeat the other individual just because they're lighter we must understand this in the scenario that i used a moment ago if one heavyweight gentleman stood still and let the other lightweight guy beat on him he's going to get crushed by him and the same is true conversely so why can't the heavyweight guy be injured by the lightweight guy when they're both actually moving it around and mixing it up it depends on the skill set of the other individual and how well you know human anatomy and understand the science of fighting if we're talking about real gladiators that sound like the term it real gladiators fighting 
Now, if we're talking about a guy off the street that's lightweight and a guy off the street that's heavyweight, we just cannot assume and paint that picture with a broad brush and say, well, the big guy's gonna crush that small guy. Not necessarily so. I have seen many lightweight guys fail much bigger opponents. And I've seen bigger opponents fail or destroy a lighter weight guy. It happens on both sides. So we can't get it twisted and assume just because you're bigger, you're going to destroy somebody smaller in a street fight or a brawl. Now, we understand that if the bigger guy got his hands on a smaller guy, he may indeed do a lot of damage to that person and win or even kill the other individual. But what's to say that the smaller guy won't win? Now, let's go to uh, what we have become accustomed to as the UFC and MMA. What if it was a smaller guy who had mixed martial arts experience? Since we like to tout that the MMA is so grandiose and has all of these excellent up to par athletes. What if it's one of those smaller guys like George St. Pierre or like Conor McGregor against Mike Tyson? Can we say that in the street fight, Mike Tyson is going to crush Conor or St. Pierre or any of the other uh, fighters, MMA fighters, can can we make the same comparison? Would Mike Tyson fighting Conor McGregor, for example, or uh, George St. Pierre, would, would he just dominate the fight in a street fight? We don't know. Because we know that these guys are used to the cage and uh, fighting on the ground and so forth. If Mike is only bringing stri striking and brawling, if you will, from a street perspective, and these other guys have some sort of skill set from being in the octagon and or the cage, are they going to lose just because they're smaller than Mike? If they laid down and just didn't do anything, I'm sure they would. But if they're fighting back and they have these other tools in their toolboxes, I'm sure they will fare very well. So again, without beating a dead horse. It can be any man's fight and win on any given day. The lighter weight guy can be the heavyweight guy on any given day if he has the proper timing, proper skill, advantage on his side. And the heavyweight guy can do the same to the smaller guy. It just depends. We cannot again paint that big broad stroke uh, and say, well, He's going to beat him, period, just because he's bigger. It depends on the individual. It always depends on the individual, not simply because you're bigger than the other individual. So, would Bruce Lee beat Mike Tyson? Some might be asking, or some might want me to answer the question, would Bruce Lee have beaten Mike Tyson in a street fight? Mike in his prime, hypothetically speaking, Mike Tyson in his prime and Bruce Lee in his prime, I personally don't believe so because of the arsenal that Bruce Lee had in fighting, because of his speed that he had in fighting, and because Mike Tyson being one dimensional, both being in their prime. And the same would be true with Bruce Lee versus Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White will not stand a chance against the Bruce Lee. And he can't say, well, I've got this extra weight. Okay. What does that mean? What does it matter? Does it mean that he could have never stood a chance against Bruce Lee? No. It could be any man's fight. But me personally, because I follow Bruce Lee all of my life for the most part in the martial arts, there were very few people that ever surfaced that could have stood toe to toe. Notice what I said now, don't take it out of context. Very few people that have ever surfaced in the martial arts during Bruce Lee's time could have stood toe to toe with the man. If they could have, they didn't show up when he was living, but they sure had a whole lot to say after he has been dead these many years. That's it. And that's all, this is Brother Teacher. What do you think? I'm out.